Hey everybody, so we are back and we're going to figure out what this 12 inch needle has to do with full scale aviation and why I used it in model aviation. So stay tuned and you're going to find out some really cool things. Okay, everybody, let's dive into this. This 12 inch needle, believe it or not, is made for sewing on fabric to a wing of a full scale vintage airplane. Back in the day, they actually sewed on the fabric and then they would dope and size it and paint it and fly it and that's how it worked. But they actually sewed the fabric on with a needle and thread. So let's dive into this real quick and you can figure out what I did. So <clears throat> this is my MSL-1. It's a vintage airplane I built about 14 years ago. I went to Oshkosh, saw in the vintage aircraft part all these neat old vintage airplanes, and I'm like, I'm going to build a giant scale um, aircraft. Long story short, this plane was originally going to be gas powered. The gas engine shook it too much, so it went into storage for many years. Then it came out as electric, and I've got over 750 flights on it. But here it is in its uh, nakedness before any fabric went on. Um, and I stained everything like they would stain and seal planes back in the day to keep moisture out. Now, my airplanes don't stay out in the weather, <clears throat> so I didn't really have to do this, but I did it for more of the vintage look. So when you look at this structure here, I just went in and, you know, I built the airplane basically out of ply and thin ply and some balsa wood, a little bit of spruce. But I covered it with super, super shrink cover right, and I covered it just like any other iron-on cloths, okay? Technically, I didn't need the needle and thread for this, but I did it for the look, okay? And I think it turned out pretty cool. So I ironed on the fabric just like I would have, super shrink cover right, and then I took my needle and wax thread. You can buy wax thread for aircraft because the wax thread never deteriorates. It doesn't rot because it's wax thread. Moisture don't, doesn't get to it. So basically, I bought a manual and downloaded how to sew uh, fabric on wings. And I probably followed 90% of it, okay? So the you always start in the bottom of the wing with the pointy end, pointy end up, go through the from the bottom, through the top, come down, and then you tie a nifty little special knot. Now, none of my knots are that nifty special little knot because I just didn't want to take the time to do it. If you're doing a full-scale airplane, you would have definitely done the knot. So basically what I did was I put down a piece of fabric to strengthen where each rib was going to be, okay? And I saw this, they do this on full scale airplanes. Then I went through and poked all of my holes. They were all on one inch centers. And you can see right there, they're on one inch centers. And that's where the uh, claw, I mean, the uh, thread's already been sewn. So I started on the bottom front, came up through, went down, down to the bottom, then went back to the next one. Um, here you can see all the holes that I had done all the way up through there. This is kind of a better picture of the needle and thread. And this is me sewing it, going all the way up the wing. And uh, it looks really cool, everybody. It's, it's really neat. Now keep in mind the fabric, the, the thread's going all the way through the wing. I got a picture at the end of this, what that looks like. It's pretty cool. So there's the top sewn. When you look at the bottom, you can see my knots, okay? And that's just the way that you sew an airplane. Now, keep in mind, my knots and everything aren't like a full scale. I kind of modified it to make it easier on me. And this is another picture of the bottom. Then I took some pinking shears or whatever you call those things. And this is what I uh, was going to use to cover up the, uh, the uh, stitching. And here it is, and I'm not sure if you can see that real clear, but basically I ironed it on and doped it on a little bit. I used that uh, SIG makes something, uh, the, the stuff that helps you stick stuff down. I can't remember the name of it. I apologize. And here is all of the, um, the strips that went on top of the fabric for the bottom of the wing. I mean, the top of this went over the stitching for the bottom of the wing. Say that quickly. And here's the bottom of the wing with the stitching and me getting ready to put on uh, that pinking. That's the top. And this is looking in through the end of the wing with just one row sewn. So this is a really neat technique to do, everybody. If you were building like a Sopwith Camel or any of those planes, you could use a smaller needle and a smaller diameter thread and do the same thing. I know there's easier ways to do it where people just put the piece of thread across the top. 
but um, it only took me about a week to sew all this fabric on. It was not, and that's only a couple of hours each evening. So I hope you enjoy this video, but that's how I sewed the fabric on my MSL-1. The MSL-2 didn't get it because it had, a, um, at least most of it was solid flying surfaces, which didn't require anything being sewn on. So I uh, hope you enjoy my videos. If you haven't liked and subscribed, well, I don't care if you like my videos, subscribe to my videos so you see my updates. And, um, or click the little thing that tells you when I've done an update. I think there's, I think just subscribing doesn't automatically tell you. I think you have to get the little update button. So have an awesome day, everybody. And uh, hope you're enjoying my videos. Rock on. Take care. Bye-bye.